This video took a turn. This is dark stuff and I don't like it. Wow, why am I getting emotional? It's haunted. Well, I'll stay over here, Jesus. Hi, I'm Lindsay and I, what am I saying again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lindsay and I'm really into fashion and spooky stuff. And today we're headed to a thrift store where a medium is gonna pick out an article of clothing that is haunted for me to wear. I got my friends who either wanna be here or don't. Honestly, we were coerced. Last time we were together, um, some spooky stuff happened. The no. Oh, no! 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 Oh, no! Before it was just like a little necklace. This is going to be like a clothing item. Like yeah. you're gonna absorb that. I would say the worst thing that can happen in my perspective is that one of the church's like spirits will latch on to you and just kind of like destroy your whole entire life. But uh, that's like the worst thing that can happen. Well, let's go. <laughs> My name is Lisa Mills, and I'm a medium. It means I could connect with your deceased loved ones. I might know about your granddad, Paul, or I might know about your kitty cat, Mr. Pickles. I actually think it's just for happiness and joy, so I love that we're here at this place. Hi, I'm Kathleen Linehan. I'm the owner of Junk for Joy. I have stuff going back to 1800s. So as things come in, I feel their energy. I feel their stories. Mostly, it's the joy. Every once in a while we'll get an item that just doesn't quite feel right. We don't always keep it in the store. So I feel like this is alive, that there's a ton of energy in here. I'm already being drawn into different parts of the store. That is a dead person. <laughs> Talk about what wearing clothes that may be haunted or like possessed could mean for me. You're gonna take on the vibe of the person who owned the item. Now, I do think this is a happily haunted place. I think actually you're gonna experience increased levels of joy, Ooh. happiness, anxiety would leave your heart. Oh, oh my, this is so much better than the last you. video. Your grandmother has passed? I mean, a while ago. I think your grandma's gonna take me somewhere for you because she's got a plan. No, she's talking, I'm not joking. Grandma's here and we're gonna find this item because there's, some, there's a benefit, she's got a benefit for you. Which grandma? Go to your mother's mom. It's your mom's mom. It's your mom's mom. Your grandma says we need to find you the thing that will produce love. Oh! Uh, right through! Uh, that could mean lots of things. I think you need a full circle that would mm -hmm. include boy, yes. career, yes. social. Amen. Wow. How are we going to pick one thing? A whole haunted outfit? Oh my god. <gasps> Is that another video? Is this this oh. video? Oh. <laughs> All right, where are we headed? So I actually am drawn to these shoes, I'm not going to lie. Um, these aren't the happy joy ones we're looking for. I think the owner of these had some problems oh. in life. Besides fashion? Problems? Besides, exactly. exactly. I mean, <laughs> uh, this is catching my eye. And as I said, I think it's your grandmother that's coming with us. I think she has an initial J with her first name, like uh -huh. Janelle or Jane or Jean. She does. She wants you to be in love. She's like very clear to me. Okay, so this feels very good on you. Woo! Very this is such nice energy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Okay. I feel like this is significant to your honeymoon. Oh, oh wait, we are naked? Can I be a bridesmaid? And if you get pregnant, can I be the second godmom and Jess be the first? You need a honey to be... moon with. <laughs> this one's a little deeper. It reminds me of something like a poet or a writer. This would be the survival of like someone that's deep enough to write about really deep issues, but actually lives to tell us the other side of it. You would experience joy from this because mm. it's like a liberation of suffering. Wow. I want to be liberated. Okay. Are you feeling you need a bottom, like a pant or a skirt? We all need well, a bottom. She one. <laughs> For a second, hold on to the pocketbook. This shows someone that has all their stuff together right now. Like this reads like someone that has a seven-year-old that's going to be in a school play, which would be a future for you. Cute. What do you feel from this? I feel this person would really love family. They would love like brunches with croissants and ham. I love croissants and ham. I love ham. This person would love their family so much. It'd be such an honor to go to like brunch with them and wow. things like that. They do? fit perfectly. They do. Oh Ooh. my God. Look at these shoes. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about these shoes. Actually, things in here are really happy and I don't get a lot of darkness, but like, this is not good, you guys. What? Like, I don't say that often. You, this is dark stuff and I don't like it. This person, I mean, how do you verify this stuff? I'm getting really anxious actually. Like, mm -hmm. this person could have been murdered. Well, I'll stay over here, Jesus. All right, so we got my full haunted outfit. Yes! But it's haunted with love. Miss Grandma with a J put together an outfit for Lindsay that would allow her 
to begin the next chapters of her life, which actually is family for her. She actually is someone that um, does read to be married younger, not older. I almost do wedding invitations, I'm not gonna lie. Good Lord, my life is progressing yet. so quickly. Can't wait. Me too! He better be cute. He better be cute. Well, of course he's cute. <sighs> this video took a turn. Listen, I just thought a psychic was gonna go in there, pick me out a spooky item to wear. Now it's a spooky dating video. Let me just break it down for you right now. This medium channeled my grandmother. Her name was Joyce. I think she has an initial J with her first name. She does. My grandmother passed away before I was born, so I never got to meet her. My mom has told me about my grandma growing up so much and just like how much she wished she could have met me and how wonderful she was and it's always been like kind of sensitive for me. After we filmed today, I called my mom and I learned some things that were pretty freaky. Was she a stylish person? I remember getting like pretty scarves in the mail from her a couple times. Mom, one of the items is a scarf. Really? Yeah, that was the first thing she was drawn to. Oh my gosh, that, that gives me goosebumps. Like it's like a silky pastel. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was a silk. Oh my gosh, mom would have picked a silky pastel scarf out for you. Wow, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting emotional too. Aww. This whole being open to love thing, I'm never open to love. Like I've never been, to be honest. I don't know if it's just that I'm not ready for it or if I like just love Harry Styles too much right now. What's weird, in the last month or so, I have felt like I'm ready to be open to love. Weird to say out loud. <laughs> we have four articles of clothing that supposed to bring me love in different ways. I'm going to wear them each separately and then at the last day wear them all together and then go out with my friends and see if anything magical happens. Future husband, see you this week. Maybe, I don't know. Welcome to day one of Lindsay finds her future husband uh, via a haunted scarf that her grandma who has passed away has picked out for her. The scarf was the first thing I was drawn to. It actually belongs to Vera Wang. We actually picked a wedding designer's item and we're talking about a marriage to me just seals wow. the deal i love this scarf <laughs> it's just not my style at all but for some reason it feels like me i decided to pair it with these yellow pants that are super 60s 70s vibe i feel like i need to cruise with my top down i realized though that this week when i'm wearing all these clothes that are supposed to find my husband i will be going into work so does my future husband work at buzzfeed Do you notice anything, you know, vibey about me today? Okay, let me see. The scarf. Yeah. yeah! It's Zendaya meets Harry. Gold member Austin Powers. 1970s bad bitch. It's haunted. Oh. Even though it's haunted, the scarf yeah. is such a vibe. Do you think I'm gonna find love this week? Um, this week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think I find love today? No. Surprise, it's Carly and Lindsay. <laughs> We're in love. I think you have to like go through the process. Okay, so you think by the end of the week? Yes. I'm feeling like I'm hyper aware of everything because I'm just at my desk growling like, is someone gonna come up to me? What's gonna happen? Um, so while we were uh, taking some B-roll right here, a guy just came up to me and was like, hey, you're on BuzzFeed. And I was like, yup, and he thinks it's something. It's your husband. No, it's not my husband. I think I really set my mindset up to think that I was gonna actually meet the love of my life today, but <laughs> did that happen? Maybe it's you. No. What do you mean maybe it's me? Maybe the love of your life is you. I weirdly feel disappointed and it's literally day one. The medium told me to stop thinking about what I don't have and think about what I do. We don't want to think about the pain of what we don't have. Yeah. We really just want to go ahead and go, okay, I don't have it, so therefore I'm gonna get it. When she said that, it was really weird because I definitely do that. I like make jokes at how single I am and I make jokes at what I don't have in my life or if I feel empty inside. I need to be content with myself, be open, but not be mad if something doesn't happen. Today I am wearing the love jacket, as I call it. This is attracting a lifelong love. I don't think she'll have more than one marriage. I think there'll be one marriage, etc. Hard time styling this morning, but you know what? I decided to go full Lizzie McGuire. Butterfly clips, fluffy sandals. This thing's a little itchy, so today's gonna be great. I feel like I need to be a little proactive here. So I'm gonna go ask some of the men in the office how they feel 
about this look. See who my potential suitors are. This is so awkward. Hey, Mitch. Hey, what's going on? Hi. Hey. There's men here. What do you think of my outfit today? Uh, it's lovely. You look comfortable. Oh, I like the, the, the butterfly clips. It's uh -huh. reminding me, my sister used to wear those oh, a lot great. in high school. Um, you can say you hate it, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about this jacket specifically? It's quite shiny. It's, it's very shiny. Very sparkly. Oh. It's uh, sparkly. It's almost like if Willy Wonka and unicorns came out with a fashion line. Kind of got a Oprah in the 90s thing going. Oprah? But I really don't like it. <laughs> All right, last question. Are you single? I'm not. Nothing. Oh no, I'm not. Is anyone here single? Uh, I am, I think I'm the only one. I am. Yes. I'm very single. I am single. <laughs> I think so. You think so? Hey, what, is, what are you doing oh, Friday night? Oh my god. Honestly, like, <laughs> like, now that I'm looking a little closer, I'm uh -huh. starting to feel it. Like, oh. Wow. Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> what about tonight? I can't oh my Friday. god. Now all the men in the office know that I am single. <laughs> I don't know if anything's gonna come of this, but you know, maybe by me putting myself out there. A I was bit. gonna say, this is big for you. I guess. Yeah, you don't do that. You're saying you did it for content, but you're wearing this thing, and that's the first time you've ever put yourself out there in a while. Wow. So. I feel weird. Love is weird. Today's heel day, and um, that being said, I fing hate these heels. I hate them. They're uncomfortable. I have no idea what to wear with them. I hate everything. I don't think that's gonna find me love. I think that's gonna find myself in the hospital. Ooh, maybe I'll fall in love with a doctor? The psychic mentioned something about brunch. This person would really love family. They would love like brunches with croissants and ham. So we've decided to take these babies to brunch. <laughs> really channeling whoever wore these before. Maybe my future husband will be there. <gasps> This could be him with these boxes. Oh! It's a, it's a nice car. That's where the ghost sit. I just stick it out in the street waiting for like a gentleman caller to come. Notice me! Hmm. Notice me! <laughs> The amount of co-workers that have come by and said we look very cute sitting out here on this yeah, table. Yeah, it's been a lot. Like I was walking and you were a beacon of Ooh. great pink celebrityness. Oh my god! I know her. It's real cute having this like. Boy wise, no one's here. Yeah. Our waiter's kind of cute, but I think he's also gay. So yeah. These shoes hurt so bad, and I've barely worn them two hours. Love is. Love is not pain. Love should be wonderful. Yeah, but there, you gotta expect some pain. Today is wallet day. We're supposed to get some money in the pocket. We picked a wallet that allows just kind of like the flow of abundance to come in. So I would like to hear about a little bit of a financial increase. I sat down to eat lunch and look what I found. It's maybe not much, but it is something. Hi. It's not bad haunted, it's good haunted! It's haunted? Yeah. <laughs> no. It's supposed to bring love to my life. Yeah, but you don't want people touching your things yeah. all the time. Because then their energy attaches on. Oh, shit. These haunted objects bring you a man who they don't trust that man. It's gonna be some sort of like demon. Ghost man? Yes. It won't end like Casper, trust me. I'm headed to a video and it just happens to be choosing a date based on the meal they make me. So the fact that it's this week and not like any other day is pretty weird. The video's over. What's look, up? look who I won. Well, what's funny is I asked you about my sweater. Kind of got a Oprah in the '90s thing going. Oprah. Do you think this sweater or this wallet brought us together? In the world of the paranormal, you just you never know. Probably the fact that we both work together. That that's <laughs> fair. Tonight's the night. I am putting all these items to the test and wearing them together. What I thought would happen is happening, and that is that they don't look good together. I'm really trying to be there for you, but... It's these. It's those. No. 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 It's not bad. No. I mean, it's not good. I kind of just gave up, put on each item, and is it a style? 
So Jazz, Joyce, and I are all going out. Will I find the love of my life tonight? <laughs> Do you think things have been different so far? I can't shake the fact that I feel very expectant. However, that feeling's starting to wear off now that I feel not cute in this outfit. I'm... I'm interested to see if this outfit will turn our, our night around. Are you gonna be on the lookout? What's gonna happen? I mean, you know me, I'm always scheming for you. I, just, I feel like we're always on the lookout. Yeah, I've been looking out for you since 2017. Let's party! Let's party! The bartender gave this to me for free. All three of them. Abundance! That's true! Ooh, we danced, we partied, we ate. We had a blast. Did a man come up to me? No. However, we got three drinks for free. Woo! It was grandma. This week, my grandma wanted me to be open to love. And I'm confident to say that I think that I've achieved it, which is wild. I think it's just you realizing that this isn't on your timeline. Yes. And it's on a timeline that's something bigger than you. <gasps> Five days of me constantly thinking about what love means to me and what that could mean in my life and like just opening myself up to possibilities has like really put me a step forward than I was before. We're taking this as like a video for a week. Maybe this is literally just the start of a huge script that you know nothing about. Did I find love this week? I don't know, but it does feel like the beginning of something. <laughs>